Parker blue gel pen and five chocolates give you one time is the same as that you did is the same as it would give you the other time. So the same bundle should fetch you the same utility. Same bundle should give you the same utility. Okay. So the third thing that I want to talk about is transitive. So what transitivity says is the following. It says if x1, x2 is preferred over y1, y2 and y1, y2 is preferred over z1, z2 then x1, x2 should be preferred over z1, z2. Okay. So just to take an example if 4 comma 5 is preferred over 7 comma 2 and 7 comma 2 is preferred over 9 comma 3 then I am just taking a random example 4 comma 5 should be preferred over 9 comma 3 so if one bundle is preferred over another and second bundle is preferred over third then one bundle should be preferred over the third one also okay now let's go to indifference curves after these properties So this is my indifference curve that I have and what is an indifference curve now? So an indifference curve basically tells, gives you different consumption bundles such that they give you the same utility. Okay. So for example, if I take good one here. And if I take good 2 here and say I take 1 unit of good 1 and 5 units of good 2 and this is a point on this indifference curve. And then I take 5 units of good 1 and half unit of good 2. This is another point on this indifference curve. So what do I want to, so what is an indifference curve? It's such that. If I take the utility, if I calculate the utility from 1 comma 5, it should be same as the utility from 0 0.5, sorry, from 5 comma 0 0.5. So, an indifference curve will show you all the points such that the utility is constant. You get the same utility from all the points. Okay, now consider this. I have this as my indifference curve. Now, one property of the indifference curve is that higher the indifference curve, higher is the utility. So if I construct another indifference curve here, then this indifference curve, if I take a point, so this indifference curve overall tells you, gives you higher utility than this indifference curve. So if the utility for this indifference curve is say u equal to 10, if the utility is fixed at 10, and different points on this indifference curve so point a utility is 10 point b utility is 10 point c utility is 10 if i take a higher indifference curve which say shows utility equal to 12 then point d e f g all these points will tell you utility of 12 so now if i have to compare a bundle D with A 
I will say that the utility that the bundle D provides because D is on higher end difference curve is greater than the utility that the bundle A provides because A is on a lower end difference curve. So I will say that D is strictly preferred over A. So then I get the following. What do I get? Let's see. So then I get that this region, the region which is above indifference curve fetches higher utility and hence is the strictly preferred region. Okay. All the points on the indifference curve, you are indifferent between them. So this is the indifference region, this. So on the indifference curve, indifference region. Above the indifference curve, strictly preferred region. If I club the two, that means I am including this region also and this region also. So, so understand this. I have this as my indifference curve. On the indifference curve, different points give you equal utility. Above the indifference curve, different points give you greater utility. But indifference curve region plus this region gives you utility which is either equal or greater than. So if I include both the regions, the utility is either equal or greater than. That is the utility is greater than equal. So, which means that it is the weakly preferred region. Okay. So, if somebody asks you, mention the three region, then it's as follows. If this is the indifference curve, this is my indifferent region. If this is the indifference curve, this is weakly preferred, uh, this is strictly preferred region and if this is the indifference curve, this is weakly preferred region that starts from the indifference curve itself. That is, it is including the indifference curve also. Okay, this is weakly preferred region. Great. So now let's talk about the properties of indifference curve. So one is that higher the indifference curve, more is the utility. Second property is that two indifference curve cannot intersect. Okay, so if I have this as one of my indifference curve and this as another of my indifference curve. Suppose they intersect at point A. Now consider two points. I am considering point B and I am considering point C. And compare B and C. So C is on higher indifference curve. If C is on higher end difference curve, it should give you higher utility. So the utility from C is greater than the utility from B. Now A and C are on the same end difference curve IC2. So see this, both of them are on the same end difference curve IC2, A and C. So the because they are on the same end difference curve, the utility from A should be equal to the utility from C. So if I use these two, I can write that the utility from C is greater than utility of B and utility from C is equal to utility of A. This implies utility of A is greater than utility of B. Okay. But see here. A and B are also on the same indifference curve. I see one. 
so utility from a should be equal to utility from b so this